Chloe with this week's Health and Nutrition News. Social media addiction is now becoming a serious problem among kids and teens because a recent study found that they compulsively check social media like Facebook and Instagram a hundred times daily. Do you really need to see every food selfie and random tweet at all hours of the day? Well, apparently lots of youth do, causing high anxiety levels. CNN conducted a first-of-its-kind study on social media and teens called Hashtag Being 13, Inside the Secret World of Teens. Over 200 8th graders participated, revealing that 61% checked their social media to see if their online posts were getting likes and comments, 36% wanted to see what their friends were doing without them, and 21% wanted to make sure no one was saying mean stuff about them. It's natural to want to fit in and mingle, but after analyzing more than 150,000 social media posts collected over a six-month period, researchers found that youth don't really see a difference between real world and the online world. Plus, they found way more insults and cyberbullying than expected, adding to the unhealthy nature of social media addiction. So next time you want to grab your phone and check Instagram or Twitter, Take a rain check, ease up on it, or you'll get hooked. Do you often go to bed later than usual? Well, might want to rethink your habit because a study found that teens who go to bed late gain weight. Researchers analyzed teenagers' heights and weights to calculate their body mass index, or BMI. Then the study compared youth BMI changes to their sleep patterns. It turns out that if teens or young adults went to sleep later every night, their BMI increased by about 2.1 points for every extra hour they stayed awake. In other words, going to bed early and at a predictable hour keeps you thinner. Other factors like total number of hours slept, exercise levels, and time spent in front of electronic screens were determined to be less important than hitting the sack earlier. Moral of the story? Don't stay up late and do sleep regularly. Otherwise, you'll throw your body's chemistry out of whack. How'd you sleep, Robin? Need some sleep? No, no sleep. Can't sleep. From sleepy teens to the world's oldest woman, 116-year-old Susanna Mushat Jones says the secret to a long life is lots of sleep and bacon. Joan gobbles up plenty of eggs, bacon, and grits for breakfast, and even has a sign in her kitchen that says bacon makes everything better. Bacon? Gotta get that bacon! Her family believes she's had a long and healthy life because of her loving and generous nature. Jones was named the oldest woman in the world by Guinness World Records in July. Pigs, though, didn't live long enough to avoid becoming bacon. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes. Take some bacon and I'll put it in a pancake. Know what else is extending lifespans? My mom! 3D printers. In fact, Miami surgeons recently used a 3D printed model of four year old Mia Gonzalez's heart to plan her life saving surgery. See, 3D printers are revolutionizing the healthcare world creating inexpensive human organs and medical devices. Although most 3D printers use a special type of plastic as their form of ink, layering on top of layers to make an object, companies like BioBots have built printers that can use living cells. This bioink can be shaped into different body parts like ears, blood vessels, bones, skins, and bladders. Scientists have also created 3D printed pacemakers, devices that keep the heart beating with tiny electrical pulses, and 3D printed prosthetics, artificial limbs that replace lost ones. In Mia's case, a simulated organ was used to prepare and practice for her risky operation. She was having breathing troubles related to a malfunction in her aorta, the vessel that pumps blood from the heart. The special surgical team that saved her has used organ models for about 25 young patients with heart issues, ensuring they live long and healthy lives thanks to 3D printing. She's back out of her surgery and back to normal, you know, so that's been a great experience for us. 